Hello, and welcome to another retro gaming thing on my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally I'm playing old games on old hardware. This time we're going to play an old game on my new computer's hardware. Uh, we're going to be trying out a port of Doom called PR Boom. Uh, in this case it's had uh, ray tracing features added, so it needs a modern graphics card and a modern computer to really run well, or run at all. And uh, so yeah, there's been a bit of chatter about this over on uh, PC Gamer and on Kotaku and on Ars Technica. And uh, so I figured I'd give it a try and see what it's like. This is the third time I'm actually attempting to record this video, the first two times uh, capture setup went a little bit wrong on me, so hopefully third time's the charm. So let's launch PR Boom, and let's try out Doom using this new ray traced goodness. So we'll start a new game, Knee Deep in the Dead, play it on Ultra Violence. Alright, so one thing you're going to notice right away is there's a little prompt to turn a flashlight on, and that's because every light source in this game is being perfectly ray traced. You can actually see that all the light from this window is coming into that dark area, and there's little glowy bits over by the flashing health potions. And of course on ultraviolence you got a couple of shotgun sergeants to kill right away. Ow! They hurt me. Steal their shotguns. Get the armor. Run away from the- Ow! Other two! Oh no! They're chewing me up! I swear I'm not normally this much of a goober. Ah! Alright. I need some health. Should be a med kit somewhere. A bit further along. What I'll do is open that door, grab these health bonuses. Oop! Armor bonus is also helpful. Let's go through the level the normal way here. You can see there's actually a Doom Guy's shadow appearing on the wall. That's pretty cool. It also changes position depending on which way he's facing. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Shotgun you. Shotgun you. Uh-oh. Ha-ha. Ah. Alright, cleared that room. Let's continue on here. Ooh. Always... Ah, uh, I just love the real-time lighting from the imp's fireballs. It's pretty glorious. Kill the shotgunners first, because... What's really cool is you can actually see the shadows sweeping across the room as the fireballs fly past. That is real cool. That's because every light source in this game is casting actual light rays that are then being calculated. And of course, in an outdoor area like this, everything is just super saturated and full brightness. Now I got full armor, and yeah, it's just nice and dim light from that little ceiling light. Thirty barrels. Oh, turning dudes into piles of giblets. Never gets old. Yeah, check out the shadows just from this lamp. That is real cool. Blap! Eat shotgun. And there should be one more secret here. Secret is revealed! And this shiny floor. Door surfaces are a little bit shiny too. And you can see the player's shadow on the door. So let's head to the second level. And see how this looks. Ooh. Kill them. Ow! Ow, too close. I, one of the downsides is that normally Doom has a bit of a pallet flash when you get damaged, and it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm taking damage sometimes and not realizing when it's happening. Of course, that guy didn't know it was coming either, because he just got turned into a pile of giblets. Let's go up here and we'll grab the red key. Oop. 
I'm gonna kill those guys outside later. Ow. Ow. Alright. Come back for you later, shotgunning jerks. I'm gonna let those two fight a little bit. <laughs> oh, zombie man thought he could beat the imp. Rifle versus imp, not a great matchup. Blap. I just love that glowing green from the radioactive goo. Don't like walking across and taking damage, though. Open up an area with a bunch of goodies. And it's also got some really interesting lighting that uh, really shows off the ray traced lighting in this port of the game. And flashlight lights things up. Performance is pretty solid. I'm quite impressed with it on a 3060 Ti. Running at 1080p. It's looking good, running smooth. I need some more shotgun shells soon. There we go, secret area! What do we find? Two rifle dudes. Need to be killed. Imp. Another zombie man. And a chainsaw. Heck yeah. Chainsaw, find some meat. Definitely gonna find some bad guys to turn into freshly baked chainsawed zombies and demons. Ah, like that one. Well, he didn't get chainsawed. Let's chainsaw this guy. Ahaha. Chainsaw doesn't use any ammo in Doom, but you gotta get real close. It makes a lot of noise, but then again, making a lot of noise is a feature in this game. This is not a game where one sneaks around hoping the demons don't see them. There we go. Almost forgot that one. You can actually see a few sparkles here and there. That's a little bit from the reflection maps updating on the floors, but I think it's also a little bit of one of the approximations of ray tracing in that uh, we're not calculating a huge amount of light, and so you actually get a little bit of a greeny image sometimes. Although this is better than some other fully ray traced games I've seen, like Quake 2 RTX. Alright, this secret. Secret backpack. Oh, hello. Alright, so we got the chainsaw, we got the backpack. We can get out of this area now. Back to the level proper. And my big ol' shadow. I think there's a secret here. Oh, some shotgun shells that I got. And again, more glowy radioactive goo. To quote the Doom comic, more radioactive- what? Oh, that's a lot of bad guys. We're not quoting the Doom comic now. We're just gonna rip and tear. Ah. Ooh, too many imps. Dodge. Aha! They can't dodge my shotgun. Could use shotgun shells. Why would I when I can use chainsaw? All right, episode one, mission two, finished. Well, let's do one more level. We'll get through the third level, the Toxin Refinery. Oh, and I just love how subtle that red lighting is, just so dim. It's lighting this room up just how it should. Some of the reflective surfaces are, eh, I've seen better, but it's still pretty cool. 
blow them up. Oh boy, shotgun. Oh. Chainsaw. Pink demons don't like chainsaw. Oh, invisible demon. Quit shotgunning me. I do the shotgunning. And we got lights spilling in from that open area. Pretty cool. More health. And we got some gloves off the radioactive barrels of slime. Yeah, I'm really liking how this makes the game look. This level really does a good job showing it off with all these darker spaces. And this part here would normally be a fair bit brighter. It's got a lot more light in it in the vanilla version of Doom. Ah. A lot of imps on ultraviolence. I usually play on Hurt Me Plenty, but for episode one I've played it often enough that I usually crank the difficulty up a bit. Uh-oh, that's a bad sound. Who needs shotgun? Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oop. Come on. Come on around the corner. Come and get it. Barrel. There we go. That was a little rougher than I wanted it to be, but hey, it worked. Health. Shotgun. Alright. I think there's a secret here. Of sorts. I have to figure out how to get into the- oh, hello. The great thing about having all these shotgun guys around is that it is very easy to find ammo. Never hurting for shotgun shells of- ow! Lots of them. Episode 3 gets a little lighter on ammo from what I remember. Oh! Pinky. There we go. Ah! Invisible demon! Oh, and check it out, the corpse is still shimmering and invisible. I love it. That is a really cool effect, much better than the little stippled pattern that we originally got in Doom. Got the yellow key now. now. If I remember correctly, there should be some secrets around here. Don't remember what they are, but they were pretty helpful, I think. Okay, I think that triggered it. There we go. Aha! Yeah, and this area is real dark because there's no lighting here. The original game just had full bright, but there's actually a window. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we're getting bounces coming from this supercharge that gives me an extra 100 health points. And that lighting is actually bouncing down the hallway here. It's a real cool effect. Oh, now it triggers the secret. Thanks. Alright, back to the level. Enough secret hunting. Let's go demon hunting. I hear you breathing. I love when the shotgun dudes help me out with the imps. If you got a problem with imps, treat with shotgun. If problem persists, apply more shotgun. Ooh, that's a lot of bad dudes. Alright. Come and get it. Bop. Boop. There. Don't need that barrel there. That'll just be a pain in my butt later. And let's go. Hello. Oh, took them out nicely. Hello, dudes with the blue key. I need that key. Thank you. Oh, hello, imps. Yeah, one thing you'll notice in Doom is that the same types of demons can't hurt each other. Kind of annoying, but also lets you manage things. 
and they can shoot at each other's backs, and it just doesn't hit me, which is still pretty good. Alright, we got a blue key. Let's go back to the start where the blue door is. These idiots in here. Can't figure out how to get in there, and it's bothering me only a tiny little bit. More armor. Yeah, that really bright radioactive pit just shining right through. We can see the shadowing from the bounce light. Oh, that's a lot of shotgun dudes. Ooh, I'm standing uncomfortably close to that. Ow! There we go. Now I have full armor. Now this guy's got full death. Oh, lots of shotgun guys. <laughs> Literally knee deep in the dead. This game is very aptly named. Or at least this epi Ow! Uh, episode of the game. Alright, and that opened a secret door here. Haha, -ha, secret revealed. Chainsaw, in case I didn't have it already. Box of rockets for later. Alright, yellow door. Open that. Supercharge! Invisibility! Awesome, and I got a clear shot at these dinguses. Kill the shotgunners first, since I can't dodge their fire. There we go. That was handy. And we can just get out with this button. There we go. Now let's get closer to the end of the level. Stairs rising up. More shotgun. Alright. Well, here's the end of level three. Oh, no imp in here. And again, we still have shadowing on all these little potion bottles. It's pretty cool. Alright, so that's gonna cover it for this play session. Uh, if you want to try out PR Boom RT on your own computer and see how it looks and how it performs, the uh, link is going to be in the description uh, for their GitHub page. And uh, yeah, highly recommend it if you've got a NVIDIA uh, GeForce 10 series card or newer, or one of their RTX 2000 or 3000 series cards, and AMD's uh, RX 6600 XT and faster should be able to run this as well. You just might have to turn the resolution and or the detail down. So thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned to this channel for more computery, physics-y, whatever I feel like doing things in the future. Bye-bye.